We're dealing with a purely partisan impeachment with bipartisan opposition, no crime, no violation of law in an election year. Okay? Never happened before. No investigation, no due process, nothing. And what they're telling you, I mean, we can talk all we want, and we will, <laughs> but, but what are we talking about at the end of the day? We're talking about removing a president of the United States from a ballot in an election that's occurring in months. Who thinks that's a good idea? Particularly when, when you're dealing with a purely partisan impeachment that was warned about from the framers, okay? So the only appropriate result that won't damage our country horribly, maybe forever, but certainly for generations, is a verdict of acquittal. Cipollone has done a fantastic job throughout. He's really made a name. He's earned a name for himself, a worthwhile name at that. He is a, an excellent lawyer, and he's been among the strongest of all the people speaking in defense of the president. Although, you know, the Dersh really got under the Lib's, Lib's uh, skin on this stuff because they are even lying about how he's now abandoned one of his defenses. I might get to that later if we have time. I have other things to talk about that other than impeachment. Some of you have been saying, fuck, enough on the impeachment. I'm like, I'm trying. It's, a, it's the obsession of the media. It's the obsession of the people that their job is to actually bring you facts and things that matter. So, yes, got some updates on coronavirus. People are saying that there's a racist response to coronavirus in the media. I said, what? People just don't want to die from, a preventive, from a, an infectious disease. That, that there's not this, we don't, we don't need to make this about wokeism. Right? We, we don't need to make this a woke issue. We can just make this a people don't want to die from an infectious disease. But, but back to uh, what the Democrats have been pushing for here all along. Think about this for a moment. Imagine if they got their way. Imagine for a moment if the Democrats did, in fact, manage to remove this president, they talk about how they want this country brought back together. They've got these candidates like Joe Biden who will say, oh, it's, I need to unify this country. We've been so polarized. What could be more polarizing than in an election year after we've had three years of really exceptionally good governance from this president, a record that is crushing. This is the best presidential record of my adult lifetime of any president. It's just a fact. There's no one else who can compare the first three years of their presidency for as long as I've been old enough to really pay attention. No one else who can compare to what Donald Trump has done. And you've got an election coming up. They say he's horrible. He's an affront to the Constitution. He's all these things. And so they won't allow the American people to make a determination about him. They won't allow the political process to play out. Instead, they are pulling all of the fire alarms in the building. You know, they can't win the debate, so what do you do? You make a lot of noise, you bang on the doors, you pull the fire alarms. They're, they're desperate to do something. And that's what we see going on here. 